Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm here today basically to uh, kind of give you a review over the uh, Airfield Cessna 182 Sky Trainer. I got it from nitroplanes.com. Um, it's got LED lights, flaps. Uh, you know, it's a four channel airplane basically when it comes to you know your ailerons, elevator, rudder. And it's also got a steerable nose wheel. Uh, just kind of going over a few of the basic stuff that I've done to it uh, since I've gotten it. I, I obviously have upgraded the wheels. Obviously, notice I also have a video here basically explaining how I did that and what I did, and and also the parts list. Uh, it does have uh, landing lights, as you can see, uh, as well as you know your nav lights. There's red and green, uh, and it also has uh, uh, blinking LED on the tail. I mean, so far I've flown this plane about three different times. Uh, and it's been a blast to fly. I mean, it's a 55-inch wingspan, so I mean, it's a large, it's going to take up some space, but you can easily uh, remove, basically, these two screws right here on the top of the wing, and the wing will basically just pop off. You can slide it sideways and fit it in your car. I mean, I have a Mustang, and it fits in my Mustang, so even though being such a big airplane, it's, it's a blast to fly. Uh, I know some of the parts are hard to find, so if you guys have a hard time finding some parts for this plane, like the prop, um, any extra pieces you need, I can show you where to get that. I got a prop adapter. I got all different kinds of things. Uh, I, I ordered them from China, but if you buy in bulk, it's really easy. It's simple because you're going to need them eventually one day. Um, one bad thing I can say is when I bought the plane, I got it new uh, from Natural Planes. I got it, and it came with a broken tail section, as you can see right here. It's kind of crappily glued together. And I glued it with the glue that came with the actual plane, and it's held up really well so far. I mean, it's really spongy, you know, kind of glue. Uh, great there. Let me go ahead and pull that open. Now, this is going to be your, uh, basically, your um, your servos here. And it's really a nice little hatch they added. It's magnetic, so you can, uh, you know, work on your servos if you have to replace them or anything like that. Uh, I also put my receiver back here and I need to make sure I get that in there out of the way so it doesn't ever you know mess up those but anyways it's a great place to put that as well get it out of the way from the battery and all that okay and like I said before it does have a steerable nose gear and uh, it does also have flaps and ailerons so let me go ahead and set it down kind of show you guys what it looks like how everything sounds things like that let me grab my radio okay let's see here so anyways, I mean, everything is really nice. I have dual rate set up on it um, to where, you know, it's going to have crazy, like, uh, rolls. That's the only thing I really care about. I like doing rolls. So, uh, you know, but elevator, everything works really nice on it. It's got a good rudder, like I said, steerable nose wheel. And, you know, and it really sounds good in the air, too. I mean, it's a great sounding plane. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything to know, I'd definitely recommend this. Just get the almost ready to fly version, have a decent radio, you know, plug in a receiver, have a great time. So if you guys have any questions, want to know anything about it, uh, just let me know.